This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's and women's soccer coach, Richard Moody. Richard, time for senior day. Hard to believe it. It seems like we just started the season uh, a mere yeah. few weeks ago, but you turn around Saturday and two very hot Queens teams come into McAllen Field for your final home games of the season. Uh, the men's team for you has won four in a row. What's it take to keep that rolling against a Royals squad that has just one loss in conference play. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's we. Th there's no pressure on us whatsoever. Uh, Queens, I mean, they could win the conference here on Saturday with with the boys. Uh, uh, the only problem is, I mean, they, they haven't played us yet, and and uh, for our boys team, we're playing good soccer. We'd like to think that we're starting to peak at the right time. We didn't play very well last night against Mars Hill, but yet we. We're able to pick up the win, and I think that's important. Uh, and obviously, Queens have done a great job, very consistent in conference. Lost to Wingate, who are arguably a fantastic side, but you know they're playing to win a conference, and 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 we're playing hopefully in the hope to to get a bit of recognition here regionally uh, with these remaining three games. So Queens on the boys will be a very difficult game, uh, but definitely one that you've we we would love to play against them. We love to play against a good team. So uh, and our 2014 schedule will suggest that too. But and on the girls, uh, it's a team that got away from us last year and. And uh, it's definitely one that we're, we're, we're ready to play again, especially here at home. And so, you know, both both games, senior night, uh, both games at home, uh, it'll be an exciting day here at McCullough Field. How bittersweet is an event like this, final home games, potentially, uh, if you don't pick up the first round home game in the SAC tournament? Uh, it's, you know, it, it, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, for, for these kids, it's, it can be an emotional day. It's... You know, you spend four years. For the majority of these kids, have spent four years here, and uh, uh, you know they've they've played all their minutes here for soccer. They're they're going to graduate here with a, a degree. It's a kind of bittersweet moment for them. It's uh, but you know I'd like to think we talked them all year about you know we asked them the question, who are you playing for? And uh, and I'd like to think on Saturday that we're going to come out and, and and play for our seniors and work hard for these guys and girls and. Uh, you know, right now I think we've got two, you know, the boys are fighting for that home spot uh, uh, in the SAC tournament and the girls right now are fighting just to get in it. Of course, with the results going the way they did yesterday, it didn't really favour us. But nevertheless, we had to win and we, we did what we were meant to. So, you know, both teams have got a lot to play for. And, and so, you know, for us, uh, it's just another game on the schedule um, and we, we should take care of it like we should any other game. Still the girls at 500 for the season, light years ahead of where they were at this time last year plus only four points out of fifth place in the league standings. What's that mean to you that there's been that level of improvement? And yes, with games against Anderson and Tusculum, plus Queens remaining on the women's side, uh, two of those teams, uh, Tusculum and Anderson, sitting right in front of you in the standings, you can still make some hay and really improve upon your preseason prediction. Yeah. Uh Again, though, it takes the pressure right off us. Uh, I'm proud of the girls. The girls are working hard. They're fighting hard. They get a little bit discouraged at times, but it's good to see it because uh, they expect so much more and they expect better. And again, last night with the girls, didn't play too well, but we found a way to win. And, and you know, this time last year, we'd have been begging for goals. And, uh, you know, now we don't have a problem scoring goals. We're going to score goals somewhere. Uh, but, you know, we just got to keep the other team at bay. So very proud of the efforts, very proud of the leadership of, of the returners, not just the seniors, uh, in which we're going to have seven of on Saturday, but the upperclassmen, the freshmen stepping up. And it's just a good culture in the locker room and proud of the work ethic, proud of the, the work rate and definitely what some of the newcomers are going to offer us for the future. Uh, you know, so it'll be hard to believe that, uh, you know, it'll be their senior night, the freshman senior night in four years. It'll just be around the corner. So, uh, but it, it's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable team to watch. Uh, and again, Megan Peterson, uh, freshman on the score sheet. Uh, Suzanne Kneifel, freshman technically on the score sheet again last night. So, you know, things are good for us. Switch back to the men and a bit of a historical perspective. Ross Frame, 12 goals, ninth most in a single season, and you're not done yet at Carson Newman. 33 points, eight most in a single season uh, in the history of Carson Newman soccer. Uh, what's that mean to you that you've got a newcomer come in and be that impactful right out of the gate and the reigning sack player of the week? Yeah, it, we knew what we were getting when we when we, we signed Ross. Uh, he, had a, he had a lot of uh, interest from, from bigger programs, and I say that with the Division One label. Uh, I'd like to think that we have a great product here at Carson Newman, but a lot of Division One teams after him, and uh, you know we've done well. We worked hard and to, to get him here, and he, he had a slow start to the season, and now he's just picking up form. And him and Nico Nola found a way to connect, and 
uh, are, are doing a great job. Uh, you know, we're, we're excited about the future for him. And, uh, you know, and again, like you say, he's not done. He's not done yet. He's not done scoring goals this year. He's going to score more goals, and hopefully we'll get to see some on Saturday. Moody, pleasure as always. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Cap. Carson Newman, Director of Soccer, Richard Moody. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is seeingeagles.com. You going to do your thing? <laughs>